Greetings, I'm Shad, and I've recently had the pleasure of attending the Abbey Medieval Festival, which is hosted by the Abbey Museum of Art and Archaeology. And what a phenomenal event. I had such a wonderful time, and I'd like to share some of my experiences with you. You see, on top of attending the festival, I was also able to host the first Shadiversity meet and greet. My YouTube channel has grown to a fairly considerable size, and with that size, it turns out I actually have fans who want to meet me, surprisingly enough. So with that in mind, and with my intention of attending the festival, I reached out to the organisers to propose an official meet and greet, which they were very interested in doing. And so this was the first time I was able to announce to my fans a place in which they could meet me. Now, I was in Australia, and I know I have many fans across the seas, and so perhaps meet and greets like the one I was able to have at the Abbey Medieval Festival is something that I can look into in the future. What I had decided to do for the meet and greet was to film a proper Shadowversity episode, which should already be be up on the channel where I get to have some engagement with the live audience but what I was also able to do was to just have a bit of fun with my fans and so I had organized some competitions which I had run and they were hilariously fun and I want to share those competitions with you in this video but that's a little bit later first I want to talk about the festival itself and my goodness it was just a wonderful time I attended on both days and I have to say meeting so many of you my fans was just phenomenal. It was a very new experience for me. I don't really consider myself a celebrity, but I have to admit, I kind of felt a little bit like one at the festival because so many people were coming up to say hi and asking for photos and even autographs, which it just blows my mind. Yet as strange as it was for me, it was one of the best experiences ever. I loved meeting my fans and thank you to everyone who came up to introduce themselves and say hi. Even though I attended both days, there was not enough time to see everything. Literally, if you want to take an experience, all the things that I have there, that's going to take a measure of time to fully enjoy it. And it is so enjoyable. There is so much. And then all you need to do is step five meters, 10 meters, and you see something new. For me, it was more enjoyable than going to Disneyland. And I've been to Disneyland. And look, of course, the rides were amazing, but in comparison to Disneyland here, there's no lines, lots of crowds as you'd expect, but it's not overwhelming. And everywhere you look, there is something amazing, interesting happening. You have the jousting, you have the medieval combat, you have the presentations, you have the various periods of medieval history represented. You have all the different crafts being displayed and shown. Cultures, customs, fashions, it is a window into the past. All the different reenactment groups do an amazing job representing the specific historical period that they're based in so well. I was so impressed at the attention to detail and accuracy these reenactors had. So if you do live in Australia and you're interested in the medieval period, the Abbey Medieval Festival, which is held in Cobolcha, Queensland, is one of the greatest events in the country for medieval immersion in history. I was able to meet the organisers and go through many things in setting up the meet and greet and also seeing the inside workings of just the amount of work that was required to set up such an event and they did an incredible job. Truly, the success of the festival is a credit to them. Regarding the time periods on display, we saw things representative of the early medieval period, Viking period, then to the High Middle Ages, the Late Middle Ages, and all the way through to the Renaissance, with the classic rapier, jewels, and fighting. And you can go up to any of these reenactors, and they are more than happy to shower you with all the information you could want regarding what they're representing and the historical period that they're depicting. And seriously, if you've never experienced jousting in person, Person, you are missing out on one of the most awesome experiences ever. You can feel the impact of these lances as they strike. It is just such an awesome experience. And that also stands for the medieval fighting that's on display as well. Some of these hits just completely floor the combatants. I particularly love seeing some of the longsword jewels in these larger tournaments. And so with all the things that were on display in which you could go and see, well, the Shadowversity meet and greet was actually one of them as well. It was an open event, part of the actual schedule of the festival. The turnout was actually really large. There was about 100 people there surrounding the Village Green, as it is called, which is a roped-off circular section that's actually nearby the inn and other kind of food stalls, with many medieval arts and crafts nearby as well. And so I'd like to show you the introduction of the meet and greet to the live audience and fans that came to meet me, and also the hilarious competitions that we're able to partake in and enjoy. Welcome! How, how are you all? <laughs> all right! 
So, in case there are some of you who have wandered past and wondering who is the strange man in the middle of the field here, I'll quickly introduce myself. My name is Shad Brooks. I have a YouTube channel called Shadiversity, dedicated to all things medieval. And uh, on that channel, I love to educate people about the medieval period, but also use fantasy and pop culture as a springboard for that type of education. And so this is actually the first time I have organized a meet and greet to meet my somewhat over half a million fan base. My YouTube channel has 650,000 subscribers. And so we've announced that. So many of you guys come here. We got our What About Dragon sign right over there. Legend. Matriculation! Matriculation! You legends! All right. <laughs> In case some of you are wondering what on earth that was, I'll explain it as well. And in actual fact, we're going to have some competitions. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to give you uh, an opportunity to see what it's like to film a Shadowversity episode for my YouTube channel. That's my plan at least. And you might see my gas, you might see what happens. And I hope to get your help with it as well, all right, for this episode of Shadowversity. And then after that, we have three competitions planned. Now these competitions are related to some of the, uh, the, some of the memes and fun we have on my channel. And uh, it's gonna be the best matriculations war cry. I'll explain what that is and what it means as the competition comes around. Then we also have the best sword flourish. Now I'm just gonna go over here. Ah. And, and so this is an example of the, the this is actually the first prize, but this one's mine. There's three other ones that you can win. This is a Kalamazil foam sword, very historically accurate. They value about $200 each. And so for the uh, sword flourish, it's just gonna be something basic like that. So if you get it, go around there. All right, so sword flourish, best sword flourish for competition. And then we have a bit of a fun one on drawing a sword from a back scabbard, which is not historically accurate, but we're gonna have a bit of fun with that as well. So, sorry, what was it? Yeah, what video? Oh, I love that. Yeah. So, my and we got that right here. And but if you want to have a try at the back scabbard one, because it's it's metal, it's blunt, but it is metal. We have a waiver for you to sign, just so you don't sue me if you accidentally kill yourself. Now, can I get a show of hands of how many people are thinking of entering into one of these competitions? Okay. So we have a. Is that more than thirty? I think it's more than thirty. Okay, so what we're gonna to need to do, if I could get people to move out of the way of the entry here, and when we start a competition, don't go yet, because we'll, you will wanna decide which competition you want to enter, make a line, and we can only have 10 people per competition. And if you enter into one competition, you can't enter into another one, all right? So you have one chance, and then you might be able to win a very cool prize. Now, I did mention that we had these cool LARP swords donated by Kalamazil, but we also have some awesome second and third prizes. So I will go and grab one of those and show you what they are now. We have these wonderful drinking horns. Now, they were donated by Make Your Own Medieval. You will find their stall just a little ways over there. Please go check them out. They have some awesome products just on top of this drinking horn here. But if you come in second or third, you're gonna get one of these. But on top of that, if you do something either uniquely special or uniquely bad, we have an appropriate gift for you as well. <laughs> now, if it's gonna be like this, I felt, what is the most inappropriate present or surprise that we could have for a medieval festival? And I came up with the answer. <laughs> a foam katana. <laughs> Heresy! Heresy of the highest order! <laughs> so, if you will be shamed enough, you will win this. But you have to, like I said, do something either incredibly special or incredibly bad to win it. Okay? So, we're going to start us off with something special. You already heard it. It's what we call on my channel the Matriculations War Cry. Matriculations! Anyway, Thank you, thank you. That's the example. So not only does it represent, oh great, they did something right, it also represents the joy I have when I see anything accurately represented in the medieval period. And so there's a spiritual meaning behind this war cry now on my channel, separate to just a castle element, but a celebration that 
the medieval period is being respected and shown accurately. So now the first comp competition is for the best matriculations war cry. Here you go. Yep. Come stand right in front of the camera. Stare down the barrel. All right, are the judges ready? We're ready? Okay. It's all yours, go. Matriculation! 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 The power! The passion! 29! We have a winner! Alright, so next comedy. So this is the best sword flash. I like that sword. No kicks! Here we go. Oh yeah. Oh. And see, I'll show you like, how close is he? Is he close? Oh. I feel like it's close, but I can't. Hey! Hey! Down, 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 down. Hey! Right. Oh, that was a smooth, clean draw. No. <laughs> oh, smooth draw. Up and back. Oh no! Oh! Whoa! Well done! Oh, smooth draw, smooth draw. Okay, no extra points for flourishes, it's just if you can put it back. Oh! Whoa! Well done! Smooth draw, smooth draw. Let's see him put it back. Oh! One eternity later. Stretch it up a bit, yes! Yeah. Yes! <laughs> okay. It's recording. Go. All right, Adrian. If you face this way, show us your stuff. Smooth draw. Smooth draw. No. Oh. oh, well done. See? All right. Let's go. Clean draw. Try Oh, oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. And so there we go. This was my experience at the Abbey Medieval Festival and the first Shadowversity meet and greet. It was just such a wonderful experience. Truly one of the highlights of my life. I loved meeting those fans of mine who were able to attend. It was such a fun time. And of course, an incredibly immersive experience. Truly, if you're in Australia and you have the opportunity to attend the festival next year, you really have to go. It is so incredible. And so to end off this video, here are those pictures that were shared with me of various different fans who wanted to come up and take a picture. Thank you so much. It was, I loved meeting you guys and thank you guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed and of course, I hope to see you again. So until that time, farewell.